Hey YouTube family, still keeping one here. It is Monday, November 24th, 2014. In this video, I wanted to talk about precious metals and stacking as savings. And I haven't really spent a lot of time on this subject, but I just wanted to share some personal things about what have uh, what I've learned and what I've been doing precious metals wise. <clears throat> to start, let me tell you guys, I'm a spender. I've always been that way. I've always spent money, even when I was a child. Money would burn a hole in my pocket, you know, just like anyone else, you know. Two dollars a week allowance, you know, on Saturday morning, gone by Saturday afternoon. And not much of a difference growing into being an adult also. And now as an adult, you know, I was still a spender. I was buying a new car every two years. Uh, I was getting a new cell phone every year, buying clothes and shoes and just spending money on things that didn't do anything for me, didn't do anything for my financial success, didn't do anything for my future, just things that looked and felt good at the time that aren't really worth anything now. So what made me really want to make this video was one of my sisters. I talked to her a little while ago and, you know, I have a new job and it's fairly high paying. And she asked me, she said, you know, you've had your new job for a while and, I, and you know, you are getting paid a lot. I know you are. Why? I'm surprised that you haven't gotten a new car yet. And I had a car that was not that old. <laughs> and I thought about what she was saying. And now as a stacker, I use silver math and gold math. Every time I'm about to buy something, I always think, is it worth it? Then I think, how much silver or gold could I get with the, the money I'm about to spend? And that goes through my head a whole lot. And anyone that's a real stacker will tell you that that's something you think about now. You don't really think about, you know, spending all, you know, getting that new iPad and and buying those that extra pair of shoes or getting that purse. You, know, you, you, you still think about it, but you think about the flip side now. Now, something I think is very important is taking control. And that's what I've done. I've taken control of my financial future. And there's many different ways of doing that. And I've done it different ways. One way that I've done that is by purchasing precious metals. Now you see, I got some uh, different things here, some gold, some silver, bars, coins, you know, all that. Now, I still spend. I'm still a spender. I've just decided to spend on things that have value, that retain value, that are worth something, that are real. And this is that part of it. You know, that Starbucks, you know, you went to Starbucks three times last week. Where is that money now? You know, it's literally down the drain, literally. And but if you use that, you know, to buy that one ounce of silver, what do you have? You still have one ounce of silver and it's still worth something. You know, I have uh, probably would have gotten a new TV, 70 inch TV. I have in the living room, 60 inch in all the bedrooms, you know, it's about the time for me to cycle the 70 inch into the bedroom and get the 90 inch for the living room, you know, things like that. Things I think about now, you know, that's a lot of silver and gold I could get with that. When that TV is fine, it's more than fine. You know, I don't need that pair of shoes right now. I'm taking control of my financial future. I rather be safe and comfortable in the future than have those new pair of shoes right now. And this video isn't going to be for everyone because a lot of people are in control of their spending. Some aren't. Me, I'm still spending. I'm still feeding that itch, but I'm having value returned to me. The car that I have that's one and a half years old is worth so much less now than when I bought it. And in the normal sense of things, I would be buying a new one and trading that one in. And I just don't see that anymore. That's not as important. You know, I have a family, I have a son and 
I want my entire family, you know, to eventually get into the mindset of using silver and gold math. And it's not just that, just saving money in general, save your money. And I always have to say like, you know, I'm not a financial advisor and I don't have to be one to tell you to save your money. You do not need that extra coffee. You don't need to stop, you know, at that fast food place three, four times a week. You don't need that new TV as much as you think you do. You know, the holidays, all those holidays and the gifts and the spending, you know, when January comes around, like it always does, you do not want to be remembering the cost of the gifts by next Christmas and starting the cycle over by next Hanukkah, by next Kwanzaa, by next Thanksgiving. You want to be free. You want to have freedom. Debt is slavery. And I'll say it again. Debt is slavery. Credit cards, car loans, even mortgages. It's great to own your house. It's great to be in the process of owning your house. But until you own things and they're yours, you are enslaved by debt. You may think you own your house, but miss a couple payments and you will see who really owns your house. And, you know, I don't want to come off too strong, but that is just the way it is. Use your money for something that will benefit you, that will benefit your family in the long run. Not right now. You know, a lot of people don't have high paying jobs and I understand that everyone, everyone, though, no matter how little you have to get by somewhere is spending on something that is unnecessary, that they don't need, that could be used for something else much better. Everyone, it doesn't matter how much you're getting paid, you're spending money somewhere that you really aren't really gaining anything from. I don't want this to be another long video that's going on, but, and it can't really be taught without experience. You need to experience it for yourself. And I know a lot of people talk about the dollar and how it's opposite of precious metals and we still need dollars. We still need dollars until you can take that silver eagle down to the grocery store and buy some groceries. We need dollars. Save them. Save them. You cannot tell me there's not a person watching this video right now that would rather not have dollars than have them. I don't care where you live, uh, how much money you make, you rather have them than not have them. Do that for yourself. You have to experience it for yourself. When you see, you know, those bills in your wallet, you know, you feel a lot better. You even feel better knowing you can buy that thing you want, but you don't have to buy it. Just the fact that you know you could, that's another feeling in itself. Do this for yourself. Do this for your family. Save your money. Put your money somewhere where it's going to make, make a difference. And every little bit counts. I don't want anyone to go and say, oh, you know, I don't make all that kind of money. One ounce. One ounce of silver. It's going to start somewhere. That money that you all the time spend and have nothing to show for at the end of the month, you know, you worked, you got paid and your money's gone and you have nothing. You have nothing to show for it. Literally get something to show for it. That's still going to be valuable. And for me, part of that money is for precious metals. Silver and gold is one of the most, if not the most liquid investment on the planet and they're the same everywhere everyone knows gold every country knows silver every country may not know u.s dollars or canadian dollars or pounds or euros they all know silver and gold though and it's liquid it's an investment stocks are an investment too there some are more liquid than others uh, real estate is an investment and like with any investment, there are ups and downs, but 
having this in your hand, I'd have to tell you, I know most of you, because you watch my channel, have at least a few ounces in your hand. Having this in your hand is a whole nother thing. It's even better than the money. You can have the money in your hand, you feel real good. I'm sure you do, I do too. But when you got that silver and gold in your hand, you know, I, I gotta take, uh, it's, a, it's a couple notches higher on the feel good meter. And see for yourself, try it. Everyone, everyone can get an ounce of silver. In the next 12 months, you can get an ounce of silver. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you do, you can get it. You can spend that money, you can get a silver, or you can trade for it, or you know, you can look through your change to look for, you know, the 1964 and later or earlier, older coins. A dollar forty face value of ninety percent quarters, dimes, and half dollars is an ounce of silver. Just a dollar forty. And do it for yourself and see how it feels. And you know what? You could not like it. I don't see how you you wouldn't, but you could not like it. Turn it back to fiat dollars. Go ahead. Nothing's lost. Try to turn that, you know, that extra McDonald's combo back to money. You know, try to sell that car that lost, you know, 8% of its value when you drove it off the lot. You can't. It's not there. And yes, the price goes up and down of silver. But guess what? It has that chance of going up. Most of the things you're buying have no chance of going up, only down immediately. And they also have a chance of being nothing. Zero, worthless. Silver and gold is not going to be worthless. It's always going to be worth something. Stocks go up and down. They have a chance of being worthless. This right here, though. No, even that paper right there, that paper has a chance of being worthless. It could be just that paper, silver and gold, though. It's always going to be worth something. Gain the willpower. Just do it. You don't have to take away. Put a couple dollars away. Put five dollars here, five dollars there. You know, five dollars, ten times is fifty dollars. That would be gone. Otherwise. So I know this is a really long video. I'm making it, I'm ending it now. Thank you everyone that's watched. Uh, I take all comments, questions. You know, I, I try to respond to everyone on all of my videos if I can. I've done a pretty good job so far, but if anyone has any questions, I can tell you about my experiences. I can tell you about things I've learned, mistakes I've made. And that is one of the great things about YouTube is you can see people's successes and mistakes. Well, with me, you can anyway, um, because letting you miss those mistakes because I did them already is great. I think we can all learn from each other. It's a great resource. It's a great resource for all of us and it's free. It doesn't cost you anything doesn't cost you anything to watch. Only thing it costs is your time and you have to do it for yourself. All right. Thanks a lot, YouTube.